29th of June 2024, drugged up politicians. Uh, the Britney Spears concert is on in Dublin this weekend. And um, a lot of Irish people couldn't get tickets because Americans were able to come, o were able to come over and uh, get the tickets. I don't know how. <clears throat> I know a lot of youngsters couldn't get up to it anyway. But anyway... It was on RTE, uh, I think that was yesterday evening at at uh, 16.48, so that would be 10 to 5 roughly, uh, that the HSE, the Health Service Executive, Eamon Keenan, Crisis Management, are advising, now that must be some kind of crisis management thing, I don't exactly know, I'm not big into any of it, but they're advising people attending the concert to start low on drugs. In other words, they're giving advice. For, this is a state-sponsored body. Giving advice to people on how to take uh, illegal drugs. So, Eamon Keenan Crisis Management, whoever they are, advising low, low, start low, go slow when taking drugs at the festival. Tell your friends you're taking drugs. But what they're saying to people, mostly youngsters, is say, I'm on dope, I'm taking drugs. They're advising them to go easy on it, start low, go slow, and let their friends know they're on it. So when they conk out, they'll have an idea what's going on. And uh, so they're normalizing drug taking. That was on the radio. That was on the radio on uh, uh, Ireland's RTE, right? <coughs> yes, um, that'd be yesterday was Friday. I think it was Friday evening. Could have been Thursday. The exact date, I don't know. But they always get keyed up for these festivals and these concerts, and there's nothing wrong with that. But imagine our state advocating drugs. Now the other thing is that um, former Labour TD Alan Kelly. Don't know what his status is at the moment. I'm not big into following Labour's activities. He said. I imagine it's here in the doll. He was a TD. Labour TD suggests cocaine is used. So he obviously is still a TD, right? Cocaine, he suggests cocaine is being used in Leinster House. And he is calling for mandatory testing in the workplace of all employees. That's what he calls for. I, I won't express opinion because I haven't thought about it. But it would seem that even in Leinster House, and this might explain a lot of them sleeping, although if I were a TD in Leinster House and they were talking about some baloney and I had to sit there waiting for a vote, I'd probably have a bit of a snooze. I, I never... <laughs> this idea that you have to be attentive to the gibberage they talk up there. The new planning and development bill has 572 sections. Go away out of that. I'd make that bill with 17 sections. In any event... This is what he says. Dope has already got into Leinster House. We're reared in a society of dope heads. The children are being poisoned by drugs. And this is all part of the left-wing globalist agenda. When you get the young people drugged up, worrying about where they get their next fix, they're hardly going to worry about mass migration. They're hardly going, hardly going to vote for responsible politics. This is so sad. Anyway, I'm just bringing it to your attention, folks. The world is really gone mad in many ways, but I don't know where it will all end. Comment on the needs, we'll see you back. Thank you.